How's it going guys, it's a final render here, and it is time to do my very first question and answers video on the second part of the survival playthrough. We just got Sanctuary, I have done one or two little things in Sanctuary just to kind of get it up and running, like I've got some water for example, I've put the beds down, but besides that there's still not enough food, and also I don't actually have many supplies, but I do need to actually carry on with the playthrough. So there's two things we can do really. Firstly, we can go to straight to Diamond City, which is our main goal. Or, if we wanted to, we could go to Ten Pines Bluff, which is fairly out of the way. But you know what? It does kind of put us on the right track. Not only that, but it will actually give us another settlement where we can save. But it will mean doing a quest as well, in order to get that settlement on our side. But you know what? For the first episode... I think I am going to try to get the settlement just so I've got an extra place to save should I need. Something I thought about was use Lead Belly. So it means I can basically drink and eat in the wastelands since this is survival mode. I think that'll be essential. Okay, so it's time to answer the first question. First question is Jack PCB. How long does an episode of Building With Mods take to record, edit, slash render and upload? Well, it really varies on the video if I'm completely honest. Sometimes it can take well over a week. I believe the Megaton and the River City videos, they took about a week and a half each or so. And the actual building of it took a week. But sometimes it's actually a lot shorter. The last video I made where I did the speakeasy in the basement, that only took a day to actually film, build and edit because I knew I wouldn't have much time. I'm working away this weekend. Okay, I'm just about halfway there now. So for the next question, LK1801 says, Hey Final Render, really enjoy your videos. Which mods do you use on your female soul survivor? She looks great. I won't actually go into the actual mods which I use for my main character. This obviously isn't my main character, her hair is different. But I will put all of the mods in the description. It's something I've never really talked about because I've always tried to keep the mod videos purely about the building mods. But I will add a list of them in the description. She's fairly vanilla if I remember right. She's only really got different hair. But the hair does make a huge load of difference. Go for a headshot, and some body shots. Oh, but he is running away. That's it, you get out of here, you wimp. I not, not, haven't got a very good shot there. I feel ill, I've got parasites. Oh dear, I need to get to a doctor straight away. I've got parasites from these dogs. Well, there we go, people, I've caught my first disease. Here we go, Ten Pines Bluff. So happy I'm here now. And already it's been quite action-packed. Alright, let's grab this quest. Okay, there are some raiders in the Corvega assembly plant. I remember this mission. This one's actually pretty difficult. So, I'm very tempted to save this one for another time. But you know what? It wouldn't be very fun if I backed out of every challenge. Uh, it's not ridiculously far. I'm thinking maybe if I follow these train tracks, I might be okay. And there's also some power armor right there. Might be an idea to see if I can grab that. There's some power armor right here. This is a mod which is helping a lot. So let's go grab that power armor. Hopefully it's not guarded. So for the next question, jgaming2601 says, For your Q&A, what is your reaction on growing on YouTube so fast and how do you feel about the whole situation? It's so surreal. It really is. Because not only have I tried YouTube videos, Oh dear. Many times in the past, but this one has done so well. It really, really has. Uh, I'm not going to just say it's down to luck, so to speak. I do put a lot of effort into the videos, and I know you guys are extremely helpful with the way you share the videos and you share the likes and everything like that. So I'm extremely thankful for that. And it's incredible. Like I have worked for companies where I've worked as a cameraman and a professional editor for people who only make YouTube videos. So it's impressive to know that some of the skills which I learned at those said jobs have translated to my own YouTube channel as well. So it's just so surreal. That's the main thing I can say. And how on earth do I find this power armor? Oh, is that it there? I was literally just about to leave. Okay, how do I get up in there? It's behind an advanced terminal and I can't hack it. Darn it. Well, it looks like I'm not going to be using that power armor. That would have been very useful. Holy crap, I've just found some rad away. That is insanely lucky. I was literally... Uh, just this box on the side of the road. And there's some Radaway in there. And some dirty water. Wow, that was a lucky find. I was literally just about to walk past that. 
So, for the next question, Pyelotatus says, Hey Final Render, what PC specs do you have? Well, my PC specs are actually pretty low, as you can often tell by the graphics. My PC specs, I've currently got an i5, no, i7 processor, even. And the i7 processor is running at 2 point something gigahertz, so it's an okay processor. In fact, it's actually a pretty good processor. And not only that, but I've got, I believe, 16 gigabytes of RAM. And the ultimate payoff as to why my game doesn't look as good as most YouTubers is that I'm currently running with a GTX 470. A 470 graphics card. Very outdated, and it is actually under... Oh, darn it, there's some ghouls over there. I'm going to avoid them. It is actually very underrated in terms of the specs, but it's just down to money, people. It really is. Like, I really do want to upgrade my graphics card in the future, the near future. However, I'm not just going to go out and buy a graphics card to, that will just improve the graphics. I'm going to go all out and get a really decent one. I'm a firm believer that if you buy cheap, you buy a lot. But if you buy expensive, you don't buy too often at all. So I've decided I'm just going to save up and get myself a GTX 970 or maybe even a, a 980. You know, the 970s actually aren't that expensive in comparison to the 980. So that's not too bad an idea. Oh, what have we got here? Let's see what we can find. Holy crap, I found a bed. It's not owned. I'm going to sleep in the bed. I'm also going to sleep until the morning as well, just so I don't run out of daylight. If I get stuck in the night time, it's going to be a problem. Okay, the place I'm going should be just at the other side of these overpasses, so I should be able to get there pretty quickly. So I think it's time to do another question. So, R. McDonald says, I love your videos. I especially love how you combine mod showcases and settlement builds. I would really like to see you review gun mods and such. You are such an amazing YouTuber and inspiration. Keep up the amazing work. It is something I've definitely thought about doing other mods, doing gun review mods, etc. But the thing is, I feel as if lots of people do that. I would rather be the best at making settlement build mod videos than doing a bit of everything, if that makes sense. So... It's up to you guys. If you guys would like to see general mod showcases, let me know. And maybe I could do that in the future. That's it. That's the assembly plant. That's where I'm going. And this is a tough battle, if I remember right. Oh, I think I've been spotted already. This has not gone well. I was going to sneak into the back. Oh, at least drinking the water helps me. And the lead belly perk helps a lot as well. Means I won't take all of the radiation damage. It says less than one rad per sip. So... That's very good. Just drinking from streams with that perk might actually be a very, very valid idea. Ooh, critical strike. Did a lot of damage that did, actually. I might just... I might just whack him before he whacks me. Excellent. And there's one guy all the way up there. Very low chance of hitting him. I'm getting out of it. Stim pack. Okay, well, I killed a few of them. Let's just chill out for a bit. Oh, tits. Run, run, run. Oh, jump over the rail. Holy crap. Run, run. Uh, head up these stairs. Up the stairs. Okay, I think I'm safe. Whew. Oh, they've seen me. Okay, I hit him. Did some pretty good damage. But I think there's three of them there. Let's go for the 58 shot. Give it a try. Oh, brilliant. Don't you dare go any further away. Ooh, good shot again. If I take several dirty waters... Yeah, okay, so three dirty waters will fully hydrate me. But I get the radiation damage, and it takes three of them. Oh, another good shot. I'm getting better at this. If I can kind of stay here and try to take out as many of them as possible, one at a time. Done it. Oh, brilliant throw. You know what? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I've got plenty of ammo for this thing. Excellent. Only does 8 damage per shot. But I've got a lot of shots. It's a raid of scum. He's got more damage. Woo! Wow, that was good timing. That Molotov I threw saved my life a few minutes later. I might be clear. I might have done it. Oh, he's got lots of food as well. Okay, there's an entrance just up here. It's time to start the real battle now. <laughs> and again, people, if I die, 
Back to square one. Back to where that rad scorpion was earlier. Okay, here we are, people. Let's try to stay hidden for as long as possible, which probably won't be long. Oh my... No! Oh my gosh, I'm dead already. I'm going all the way back to where that rad scorpion was, aren't I? Yep, I'm back here. <laughs> I'm back here with the rad scorpion. Get ready. There he is. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> okay, so now I'm walking back to the assembly plan so I can have another cracker taking out the raiders inside. Let's take another question from Chaotic Monkey 987 I have a feeling that you are very excited for the Wasteland for the Wasteland Workshop DLC that's coming out this month. I'm sort of excited. I'm very curious to see what's in there. Obviously the trailer did come out yesterday, I believe, and it looked pretty cool actually. It did look like there were some cool items to use. But you know what? Proof will be in the pudding. There are some new things which I didn't think about, but there are a lot of stuff in Oh done it. <laughs> it's a raider settlement right there. <laughs> But there are also a lot of things in there which I feel as if I could get with the mods. So, I don't know. If you guys are on the consoles, then I'll let you guys know if it's worth buying. But if you're on the PC, you might be able to get better things just by modding. I'm not too sure. We'll find out later on down the line, I'll guess. Here we go. We're back at the plant. And uh, let's hope we're more successful this time. Okay, they've noticed me. I'll probably skip ahead until I actually get inside now. So... Get ready for the jump cut. Okay, I did just die again. So this is attempt number three, and I'm gonna go through the front this time. Holy, there's a bed up here. Oh my gosh, if only I'd noticed this. And a cooking area. I'm saving the game. I am saving this game. All right, here we are. Got a good position. Two of them right there. There's a turret right there as well. Let's go for it while they're chatting. Really? Boom! I think if you use your critical strike, you always get a hit, even if it's like 1%. Oh dear! Whoa, that did a lot of damage. Okay, stim pack, stim pack. And while I'm waiting to heal up, might as well answer another question. Troll Time Gamer asks, who is your favorite companion and why? Firstly, I would say, why on earth haven't I taken a companion with me? That would be very helpful right about now. But my favourite is probably Codsworth. Not only is he probably the funniest, I think, but he's pretty darn useful as well. Uh, Strong's pretty good. I think he's very funny. He makes me laugh a lot. And uh, Curie is extremely good because she actually heals you up an awful lot. But overall, I'm going to say Codsworth just for his personality and his humour. Eh, look at him glitch. Free kill for me. Eh, Darwinism, right there. Whoa! They've got a fat man. They've got a fat man. Oh, this just got interesting right about now. Come on, take it out, take it out, take it out. Oh, brilliant. That was good shooting right there. And there's a load of raiders over there, but they're just sitting by themselves. Okay, I've finally made it to the front entrance again. Okay, this will be attempt two of clearing out this place. Alright, I'm inside. Still hidden right now. Got to be as quiet as I possibly can. What have we got here? So what did that do? Ah, there's a bomb. Uh, oh, someone right there. Okay, brilliant. So now, drink, 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 drink. Off. Check every little nook and cranny. All right, that's good. There's one there. Peekaboo to you too. Oh, darn it. No. Not again. All right. Let's try this again, shall we? Surprise. Oh, darn it. That was that was a rough way to go. Whoops. He had a stim pack and all. That's awesome. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I love the minigun. Oh, there he is. Oh. His hands blew off. Two of them, bunched up. Okay, I got them both. Whew. Oh man, the carnage. I never got over the gore in the Fallout games. Something special. You bully. Oh, there's another one. No, you don't. 
Whew. Wait, I just picked up some ammo and it said I'm over encumbered. Does ammo weigh you down in this? Oh my gosh, it does. Bullets. Bullets have weight. I've got to find a way to upgrade my, um, my suit when I get back. You know, invest in some of the armor perks. That way I'll be able to have extra carrying capacity. There, the boss gang leader is over there somewhere. And please say I've got the ability to hack this. Yes, I believe you can hack one of the Protectrons to help me out. I'm going to let the Protectron do the grunt of the work and act as a distraction while I mop up. Oh dear. There's a lot of them. There's a gang leader over there. Jared. It's not a very cool name for a gang leader. Gang leader should be called like Spike McIron Fist or something. Oh darn it. Back off, back off, back off. The Raiders have probably just got pipe pistol. <gasps> Whoa! What on earth happened there? Okay. Fourth attempt. Let's do it. If I can hack the Protectron again, then that'll be very helpful. Brilliant. Got it. Okay, let's activate the Protectron. There we go. Go again, Protectron. Well, oh, there goes the Protectron already. Some help you were. Getting very close. Ooh! That was cool. Come on. He's perfectly exposed. Got him. Alright, that's the leader dead. Excellent. Right, let's get out of here. Okay, so now the mission's complete, this is the perfect time to answer another question, I think. Risky Stash says, Final render, how do you keep yourself so well spoken when doing building projects? Do you write out a script or do multiple takes until you sound till you think it sounds right? Well, there's your answer right there, I just messed up on the words. Um, typically speaking, I do not write a script. I did write the scripts for the Counter-Strike videos I started doing with, all of which don't really have many views. Check them out if you want, but not many views on those and it just sounded very deadpan whenever I did a script you could argue that that's down to my presenting but overall I feel as if there's more personality in it if you just do it live and we're back to Ten Pines Bluff right let's turn this quest in and get this place as a settlement yeah, I don't care. no more raiders for you to worry about give me 97 caps and I've got a new settlement that's perfect. I'm back. I made it home. What an adventure. <laughs> That's something I've really noticed about the survival mode. It feels much more like an adventure game now, as opposed to a first person shooter. So, let's save the game and call it quits, really. Alright, the game's been saved. So, well, there's a sea captain's hat in there. I think I'll wear that, just for fashion. Why not? Looking very stunning. Okay guys, so thank you very much for watching, this has been the final render, and you have been the audience. I hope you enjoyed this kind of question and answers episode of Survival, and I do look forward to doing the next one, actually, because I haven't played Survival Mode since I did the first episode, but after playing it again, I thoroughly enjoy Survival Mode. So, if you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to leave your questions for episode 3, and I hope you guys enjoyed it a lot, I know I certainly did. So thank you very much. Remember to subscribe and see you next time.